Hello Starfam! This is the Sunnyvale Arena. I am about to do my very last few quests of Star Stable, the Spring Riders, and those quests are with Anne von Blissen. We are going to do four different, different dressage trials today, and then we'll see how much time we'll have and if we will do anything else, because of course we have two things to do. One is to get all the medals from this dressage course, and one is to win this big trophy and we have no idea what it's about what's it what it's about what's english because it's never been mentioned throughout the entirety of this game which i think is very strange uh, but this game has the weakest story of all the old starship Blue games because this is not starship Blue online i know people have been asking me that on spe especially on instagram since i started posting these videos this is not Star Stable Online. This is a single player game. I can play it anytime because I have the disc to play it. Oh. I'm going to talk to Anne now. Um, Linda thinks that Anne can teach me some tips and tricks. And I'm just going to try out her dressage exercise and see what I can do. This is of course a training, which means that I will have to do this three more times. And for those of you who have joined me since I've played the old Starshine Legacy games, you will recognize this figure. I wrote this figure with Anne and Concord when I played the third Starshine Legacy game. But it's a bit more, a bit easier this time around. It's a bit more compatible with the actual game design, I'd say. What's the shape? Oh, there it is. I always felt so stressed out when I was younger, and I heard this industrial complex theme as soon as you started doing competitions. Because this is one of the dark war themes that you hear right now. Which is super super stressful if you play the old Starshine Legacy games, because you really like connect the soundtrack to something really scary and horrible and being chased. So, not a good choice of sound design here. Also, right now I just have Mary Poppins in my head because I... Before I started recording this, I wanted to have a look at the Mary Poppins Returns movie because I love the original Mary Poppins. Oh, that was the right one. Uh, so, I've just been listening to Emily Blunt and Lin-Manuel Miranda singing a cover is not a book like three times in a row now, just because I thought the lyrics were so interesting. Also I had to listen to it in Swedish once, because I was like, oh, I wonder what happened there. Uh, no, don't do that. I did not enjoy uh, their choice of sound uh, of voice actors. And also, the rap was very, very well translated. I did not enjoy the singing parts of it. But the Swedish dubs from the 90s uh, for Disney movies were absolutely amazing and then something happened. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> but the 90s and older as well. Everything up to like, um, until like the 2000... Yeah, up until, up until like 2005 or something. Those dubs were really really good. Okay, uh, maybe something that's a bit more for you guys since I doubt most of you will ever listen to like Disney songs in Swedish. Um, yeah, so I'm still hearing a cover is not a book in my head, which is good because then I don't get stuck listening too much to this very stressful Dark War soundtrack. And we're almost done, this is the last figure. Perfect! So 160 stars is the maximum you can get here. I only needed to have 112. Lovely. Good work. And Anne says she might have a surprise in store for me. Because she right now ha will offer me the chance to go and get this. In these games you don't actually need to take any medals at all if you don't want to. You could just practice at like do everything once and then go for the trophy immediately i prefer to take all the medals i think that makes the game feel more complete so i will take all the medals i have the flags here behind me 
I think if I would have saved the game and shut it down uh, since the last episode, I might have... Like, the flags might have disappeared. But since I knew that the flags would be more fun to have, I did not close down my game since recording the last episode. Uh, I'm pre-recording a bit, just so you know. I'm not recording this anywhere close to when you will see it, because my vacation schedule is a bit strange, <laughs> so I need to pre-record a lot to be able to bring you guys stuff every week. Uh, so often I record like two episodes in a row, just to ensure that I will have the time to edit and stuff and release videos at the day I plan to, which demands a lot of planning from my end, but also it's a lot of fun, because then I can see my video library building up and I can prepare stuff, and I really like preparing videos. I think that's one of the most fun things with YouTube for me, <laughs> like just seeing stuff being prepared and scheduled and being set to go out on a specific date and I have all like promo stuff done for Instagram if I'm gonna do stuff like that um, just to see that I have ev all the assets done I really really like that it's nice to be very structured when you're doing YouTube stuff in the way that I do at least and that might not be the right way for other people but I prefer to have it that way Anyway, so I decided to record two episodes in a row, so you can see those gorgeous flags all around. <laughs> and also, I am very hyped now for Anne's Spanish challenge, as the quest was called in the quest log. I must say that having to do all of these courses four times isn't always the most fun thing to do. But I will have my gold medal. That's my main goal for today. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, well. I don't think that matters at all anyway. score is quite good as it is. Yay! Bronze medal! I really like this medal. I think it's a pretty one. I really, really, really enjoy all the medal designs from these this games. I also want to say these games. All of them are made by Johan Egekrans, who was the concept artist for these games and also for Starshine Legacy. It's very clear, like, no one has actually said to me that it's him, but his style is so easy to recognize. So it's so clear that Johan Egekrans was the one who made these medals. And also, the oh, loading is. screens of these games, like, when you open the game and see those really nice artworks of, like, a silhouette of a rider and her horse. Uh, he was the one who made those ones as well. Now we're doing this for a third time and we're only at the silver, so of course we need to do this once more. After being done with this. But also, uh, now I haven't actually looked. Yeah, as you can see here, I think that the discipline bar was da like down here in the last episode. So our horse is moving better and better, or not really, but more like I can ride on basically forever before until. She tells me that she's tired and wants to slow down. I have not noticed, like, and I did notice it when I bought the horse. But before buying it for this video series, I never realized it had a curly mane and tail. That's so strange. I've been playing this game for so many years. But I haven't been playing this game for like the past four years or so. Because after playing it for my YouTube series on my Swedish channel, I just 
put it down and didn't have time to pick it up again since I had so many other games to play. And I still have that issue. I have so many games to play. Just the other week I started playing Planet Coaster. I I bought it on Steam ages ago and never started playing it. But now I did. I'm so going to be upset obsessed with that game. And also they have revealed they are working on a zoo uh, game, like a Planet Zoo game. Which is basically a zoo tycoon game. Uh, in the Planet Coaster style. Which means that I will never have a life again, because Zoo Tycoon 2 was my life. I need to start playing that again too, I love that game so much. I want to play the original Zoo Tycoon as well. I have it here, I just need to reinstall it to my computer. Love that, those games. I mean, I've been spending thousands of hours in them, I'm not kidding, thousands of hours. They're, like, the Zoo Tycoon games are probably the only games I've been playing more than SSO throughout my life. Love those games so much. So I was super excited for this fall, fall of 2019, when Planet Zoo is released. But also there's many different games I'm so excited about this year. One of them is Pokemon Sword and Shield. Can't wait, it's gonna be amazing to have another main series Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch. I love my Nintendo Switch, that was such a good purchase. I bought it second hand from a kinda friend who didn't want it anymore. And I mentioned I was going to buy one, and she was like, oh, you can get mine. So I got it super cheap with Super Mario Odyssey as well, so that was nice. That's very kind of her as well. Let's go for gold. I think I might have to concentrate this time. Or maybe not. Yeah, but anyway, Sword and Shield. I am a huge Pokemon fan, if you guys didn't know that. I've been playing Pokemon for like the last 10 years or so. I think? Well, perhaps. I don't remember when Diamond and Pearl was released. Always wanted to play Pokemon as a kid. My dad was like, no, you're gonna play Super Mario instead. So he bought me a Game Boy and a Super Mario game. I hated Super Mario. I just wanted to play Pokemon. And then my little brother is 10 years younger than me and he got Pokemon when he was like four. He didn't understand anything. And I was so upset that I never got to play Pokemon, but he got one a Pokemon game where he couldn't even read. So it all ended up with me having to play for him since he couldn't understand anything. So I finally got to play Pokemon, he got bored, I got the game from him, I got my own Nintendo DS. So I've been playing Pokemon ever since. And I actually might have liked, I think I have clocked in more hours on Pokemon than I have on SSO. But it's so easy to spend a lot of hours in Pokemon. You think you've been playing for like 10 minutes when you've actually been playing for 3 hours. I mean, it's insane how much time you can spend in Pokemon. Also there's so much to do in those games, it's amazing. Love the Pokemon games. Favorites right now is Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. No, that's a lie, only Ultra Sun. I haven't... I I didn't enjoy the team I used for Ultra Moon, so I've, been only play, I've only been playing Ultra Sun for the last couple of months. I tend to play Nintendo DS on my way to work, because I have like a 30 minute bus ride to town. So I tend to play games while waiting for the bus to arrive. Might start playing Nintendo Switch again on the bus. I have bought the last Masquerade game I've been showing on the channel for Switch. Didn't like that as much as I did for PC, it's way more nice to play on PC. But I think I might have to give it another go on the Switch. It was cheap anyway, and I really, really enjoyed the game, so I felt like it's worth it to support the developers. But I did like it way more on PC. I won't buy the second game on Switch if I get the chance to. And the second game wasn't as good as the first one. The first one was incredible. The second one was like, eh. So now we only have this figure to go, and I think we're all good with the scores. And there we are! We succeeded! 160 of 115. <laughs> yeah, so that turned out well. So, oh, now we got it! The gold medal! 
and she will recommend Jordan Jett to hire me as one of the instructors for the next year's camp. Oh well. And now we have the dressage training and the Spanish challenge. But as you might understand, we are done with everything to do in this game. The only thing we have left is to talk to Anne and take on the Spanish challenge. So that will be the finale of this game and because of that I will leave that out till the next episode because I want that to be a standalone so it's easy for people to find the video if they would like to for some reason, I don't know. Uh, so that would be it for today even though it's a slightly shorter video than usual. So thank you for watching, if you want to talk about something, perhaps one of the games I mentioned today, don't forget to leave a comment, I really like to talk to you guys, it's way fun. And uh, yeah, leave a like if you liked the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do, so you can see more weird stuff from me. And that's it. See you all next time.